So the next presentation is, um, is, is mathematical. Um, it's not as complex as some math presentations could be or will be this weekend. Um, is anybody familiar with the QEG, at least in concept? And so um, I think it was maybe about, I don't know, a year ago, nine months ago or something like that, I was uh, uh, contacted by our next presenter who uh, shared with me some things that he might have something interesting to present. Um, he has a very long background in, in science and engineering and uh, also with mathematics. And he was an engineer at Los Alamos Labs, I believe mostly in lasers and optics and, and that kind of stuff. And, uh, he's been looking at the QEG for a long time, has his own uh, you know, perspective on how it, sh it should be run. And how many of you are familiar with the concept of like reactive power? which is you know, not supposed to be like this phantom power that you can't really do anything with, but then there's a whole other side of the field where, well, what if you can? And so what he's done is has been working with these concepts of geometric algebra for quite a few years and have uh, advanced and I guess you could say kind of uh, extended it beyond where it was thought to go to specifically apply to these type of uh, generator and motor type technologies to show how possibly reactive power can actually be put to use to do real work. And so please help me welcome Dr. Jack Hanlon. Now I'm going to be talking about over unity machines during the talk. And here's what I'm thinking about when I say that. A machine is over unity to me if it runs for a long time and produces a significant amount of electrical output without any electrical input connection. Now, right away, you'll say, well, a solar cell works that way, and a wind turbine works that way, and I believe switch reluctance generators work that way. Switch reluctance generators are uh, a little bit different, though, because for a solar cell, we know what the power source is. Of course, it's the sun. And for a wind turbine, of course, we know it's the wind. But for a switch reluctance generator, we think it's magnetism, but there's a lot of controversy exactly about how it all happens and how it all comes together. And uh, since the output electrical power is greater than the uh, input electrical power, we're not quite sure how all that comes about. During the talk, I'm going to explain all about what all this means and tell you all my secrets with the hope that the information will help you understand and explain your own over unity machines. Switch reluctance generators can produce electrical output power without any electrical input connections and still conserve energy. That switch reluctance generators can solve our present and future demand for electrical power. And lastly, that there's a scientific explanation for these conclusions. Now here's some examples uh, they'll probably be familiar to some of you, maybe most of you, uh, about what I'm thinking about when we talk about switch reluctance generators. On the left, uh, you see a machine that was demonstrated last year by Peter Lindemann. He's here today in the back. And uh, this, the QEG, that's the core of the QEG. This is the machine that I got interested in, and have we have a version of this in our in my garage and we have done some testing. Okay, what we have here is an older style block of energy device. Uh, this particular style was developed uh, approximately uh, 20 years ago. Now, you can understand this algebra pretty easily, at least the parts we need to know if you know a little bit about complex numbers. You learned it, I learned it, you went to college in any of the engineering schools, you learned this. If you're trying to convince people that you're doing something useful, uh, you're going to find all kinds of people. So I'm going to talk about what I, I, what one way you might say, if I were talking to an electrical engineer, or, uh, this is what I'd tell him. He'd say, why am I interested? Well, one of the most important things that electrical engineers do is calculate what the power is. And here's the way they do it. They 